Hello and welcome to those endless mysteries. Before we get started today, I would like to ask y'all, if you like this video, please give a thumbs up and share this video with friends and social media. So maybe you can help our channel grow here on those endless mysteries. Now this sighting report comes out of Clay County, Florida from the winter of 2009. The witness states, that he was out hunting small game in Camp Blading. He was on a steel hunt side near Cemetery Road, saying that he had a friend with him that day, that his friend was around 30 to 40 yards in front, while being 150 yards to his right, when the witness saw something running in between them. At once this thing got in front of the witness, he says that it was about 50 to 60 yards away from him, that at the moment it was in front of the witness, that it turned and looked right at him. At this time, the witness says that he stood there looking at whatever this thing was, trying to figure out what he was seeing, that he stood there for about 30 seconds looking at this thing, while whatever it was was looking at him. After 30 seconds or so, the witness says that he bent down to one knee watching this creature. While down on one knee, this creature kept watching him for another 15 seconds or so. That after this time, the creature just turned back to its right and ran out of sight through the trees. That once it went into the thick trees, it was gone. Now the witness says that this creature was bipedal, saying that it ran on two legs. Now, the witness said that this creature was running kind of like an old man. That it was bent over a little at the waist, like it had back problems or something. Now, this creature had hair over its body and head area. That it was dark brown to a blackish in color. Well, I can say that I don't see this creature being a bear at this point. Bears will walk on two legs but they don't run, or at least not as quick as this animal did on two legs. The witness said that he could see this creature's arm swinging back and forth as it was running through the trees. Now the witness says that he walked down to where this creature was standing, that he is six foot tall, that he looked at a tree that this creature was standing next to, saying that this creature was at least seven foot tall, now, around this time, he says that he yelled for his friend to come over, saying that he had asked his friend if he had seen anything, but unfortunately he had not. He says that him and his friend started walking into the swamp hunting. This is when the witness and his friend found a large pile of feces on the ground, that it was about a half a mile into the swamp from where the witness had seen the big creature saying that they both looked at it for a while, that they even poked it with some sticks trying to figure out what kind of animal could it had came from, saying that they both had hunted for over 35 years, but neither of them had ever seen anything like what they were looking at. Now the witness estimated that the creature he saw was around 350 to 400 pounds, that it did appear to have a belly, with its shoulder width being around three feet or more, that when he first saw this creature, it looked lanky while it was running, but that once this creature stopped and looked at him, it looked very big and thick, with the creature's arms being very long as well as being very big, the witness said. This creature's arms was as big as the witness's legs, with the distance being 50 yards or so, the witness said that he did not see many details of its face, just that the hair looked thinner while it had dark skin, with the witness describing it as a bulldogish face. So I would take that as having a flat face. With many of these sightings, the nose is described as being flat, but with huge nostrils. So at that distance, I guess you could say it looked to have a bulldog's face. Now he says that its head was somewhat ovalish or melon-shaped, 
that it wasn't close enough to see ears or great details. Now, he didn't notice if it had a neck or not. He just said that it looked like a lineman in full pads. So if it did have a neck, then it was short and thick. The witness says that he didn't notice a odor or anything like that about this creature. Now, as far as the scat the witness and his friend had found, it was a big pile, 8 to 10 inches across, while being 4 to 5 inches tall or deep. That the scat did have berries and nuts in it, but that it wasn't bear scat. Both of these hunters have seen plenty of bear scat, and this wasn't bear scat, they said. It looked like human scat, but a pile this size would take five to eight full-grown men. Now, they both were thinking as they examined it. I guess that was a big pile. So what could have left it? I do know that bears can leave some big piles of scat as well. But that pile even a bear would have trouble with, I think. But both of the hunters were sure it wasn't from a bear. With outdoorsmen, especially hunters, being able to identify other animal droppings. It looked like human scat, but a pile this size would take five to eight full-grown men. Now, they both were thinking as they examined it. I guess that was a big pile. So what could have left it? I do know that bears can leave some big piles of scat as well. But that pile even a bear would have trouble with, I think. But both of the hunters were sure it wasn't from a bear. With outdoorsmen, especially hunters, being able to identify other animal droppings. So for now, I'll take the hunter's side and say it wasn't from a bear. So what then? What do you think on this one? Drop us a comment down below if you would like on this one. Now, this next sighting comes out of Plague County as well, from November the 20th of 2011. The witness stated that him and a friend was on Black Creek bass fishing, that after a few hours with absolutely no luck, they started working the last stretch of bank before calling it a day, when they heard something walking in the woods. The footsteps were very loud, with them also hearing something sounding like it was scooping water or smacking it. Saying that the water sounds were hard to describe. Now, there are plenty of wildlife in this area, like deer, wild boar, and black bears, while also having plenty of smaller animals as well. But the witness doesn't know of any animals capable of making the footstep sounds they heard. So after telling his friend to remain silent, he started trolling towards the bank from which the sound had came from, hoping to see whatever it was making the sounds, as they were trying to move as silently as they could towards the bank, saying that this creature must have seen them, because they never seen or heard the animal once they moved closer. But the witness did say that they stood out like a sore thumb in the creek. There was a very strong odor, though. One witness described it as a musky dog smell, with the other saying it smelled like bad body odor with a dirty, wet dog smell. So as the witness watched and listened for any signs of movement, they had none. So after five minutes or so, they started to move away from the bank. So at this time, it was starting to get late, so they thought that they better start heading for the dock. So as they started to leave the area, this is when they said that they heard a loud splash right behind them, saying that they were sure something had just been thrown at them. Now, as the witness stopped the boat, this is when they heard the loud footsteps again. This time, it sounded as if it was leaving the area. Even though they didn't see the animal, it does sound like they might have came across something out there. Clay County has a few sighting reports out there, 
with many of them being from the Black Creek area. There is an abundance of wildlife there, with numerous creeks and ravines, providing a great Sasquatch or skunk ape habitat. So what do you think on this one? Did they come across a skunk ape, or was it something else? As I said at the beginning of this video, if you like this channel, please feel free to share this video with friends and on social media. It will help us grow a little faster as a channel. So till next time, stay safe and have a great day. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button so you can keep up with all of our latest videos. And thanks for watching those endless mysteries.